Hey guys, this is Charles Blair, the mad scientist, and I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, and here's the reason why. PropStream now has sold data and failed listings back. That's right, you heard it first. PropStream has reinstated sold data and failed listings. As a matter of fact, I got the video for you. Check it out right here. Okay, just to give you guys a little bit of backstory behind this. About five, six months ago, PropStream made an announcement that they would no longer have failed listings and or sold data on their platform. And I got to tell you guys, the internet went crazy. Everybody was talking about, hey, is this the end of PropStream? Is PropStream dead? Yada, yada, yada. No, no, no. The reason why it wasn't the end of PropStream, because they have so much more than just their comp capability built inside the system. It is a complete, comprehensive lead building system, not just built around comps. Now, the fact that the comps are back is fantastic. Not only are the sold comps are back, but the failed listing comps are back, and they got a lot more new features added in. Let me show you. This is a video that they just put out. My man Burton is talking in the video. Check it out. We're excited to announce MLS sold data is back. Now, recently sold MLS sell prices will be displayed as an estimate that is guaranteed to be 99% accurate. That's Did you right. hear that? 99% accurate. Not 50, not 25, but 99% accuracy on the sold data. 99% accurate based on our proprietary algorithm. Additionally, failed listings quick lists will return and failed listings and sell prices will be displayed by month and year. To get a better understanding of exactly what we've added and what it will look like in PropStream, I'm gonna go straight into the software demonstration. Let's begin with our quick list choices located in our search filter. As you can see, failed listings has been added back to it. This will give users like yourself the ability to identify properties that were listed on the MLS, but did not sell. When now, remember three, four months ago, this was taken out and it was really a bummer for those of you that use failed listing as a way to generate comps uh, to say what the actual property is gonna be worth based on stuff that sailed and as is pricing as well. When selected, users will be able to see the price the property was listed for and the month and year it failed to sell. We also made some changes to the MLS status filter section. The first change was moving the on market filter up one slot. Being that this was one of the most used filters in this section, it only seemed natural to make this adjustment. Some other notable changes are the new listing type filter. This will allow users to now isolate MLS results by whether they were listed for sell or rent or maybe even both. The MLS status drop down menu. Now, I really love this change. I mean, being able to see the filtering out for sale, for rent, and some combination of both, this is really going to help you when it comes to determining exactly what valuation is going to be. This is a group plus. Now has three new options failed, sold, and by popular demand, never listed. And finally, the keyword search option has been relocated to the very bottom. Now let's head over to the property details and go over some new enhancements. Now, if you remember before, that one was raised a little bit higher. So that's one of the new changes that they have in the actual dashboard. If you're in a disclosure state. Here, you'll see public record and MLS. Simply put, a disclosure state is a state that allows sold data to be seen by the public. If you're in a non-disclosure state. A non-disclosure state is a state that does not allow you to show this sold data of property sales and so on. You will see our estimated sale value. 
for MLS sales data in disclosure and non-disclosure states. You will see our MLS sell data that is guaranteed to be 99% accurate based on our proprietary algorithm. Below the MLS sell data value, you will see the transaction date by month and year. Now for the biggest change in our property details page, the comparables and nearby listings. The first major change is that we've separated the public records, the green addresses, from the MLS records, the blue addresses, and we even gave users the option to use both side by side. Now, I like to use both of them side by side. Now, this is going to be a great way for you to say, okay, public records match with MLS records. We know we got a 100% match. This is accurate. Definitely, definitely, definitely use this as a comp. So now, whether you're in a disclosure state and just want to use public records, or maybe you're in a non-disclosure state and you need to get access to MLS data, we believe we have what you need to determine the value of your next investment property. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy these latest updates and enhancements to PropStream. Now, I told you, it's back, it's back, it's back. So, in closing, just keep this in mind. This data is the key when it comes to your comping out a property. PropStream ain't going anywhere, y'all. Take care. Charles Blair, the mad scientist. See you in the next video.